I'm Lari, and welcome to your at-home 35-minute glute and leg workout. What you need today, a pair of dumbbells, whatever you have handy, grab them. For resistance reference, I have a pair of 25-pound dumbbells today. Just remember, though, you and I are different, so you may need to go heavier than what I'm using in order to feel challenged, or you may need to go lighter, th lighter than me in order to keep good form. Everyone is very unique, so find a weight selection that feels challenging for you while maintaining great form throughout. You will also need a mini band. I'm recommending a latex if you have it available fabric will do as well medium-ish resistance grab whatever you have uh, available to you you will need a bench now if you don't have a bench use a chair ottoman stool whatever you got you will need to be near a wall for the very final superset of the day and you're going to need a mat so a lot of things that we need of course you can always get creative and modify the exercise selection a little bit as well all right here's today's format we have strength supersets we have two exercises at a time we will do each superset twice the first round will go 60 seconds for the first exercise 45 seconds for the second exercise 15 seconds to recover before moving to round two Round two, the time is shorter. Exercise one, 45 seconds. Exercise two, 30 seconds. 15 seconds to recover. Brand new superset. I will be giving tempo recommendations throughout, but if you ever feel like I am going too fast, feel free to go a little bit slower. It's not about how many reps we we're doing today. It's about how many quality reps we're doing today. So I want you to keep your form locked in, make that mind muscle connection strong, and then we fatigue and stimulate the muscles in order to make those strength gains. All right, y'all grab all your stuff. You may want a towel and hydration around as well. There is no jumping all about strength today. Meet me on your mat with your band around the laces. We begin with a lower abdominal transverse abdominal warm up to prepare us for what's to come. And let's get going. Mini band is around the laces. Go ahead, bring the shins up towards the ceiling. Press into the band. That's going to start to light up your glute medius. Press low back into the back. Hands go up. We reach opposite arm, opposite leg, and then bring it back to return. This is going to activate your transverse abdominal muscle, that corset muscle that goes and wraps around the core. This will also work your hip flexors as well. All right, this is our warm up superset. We go in three, two, and one. Dead bugs, take it slow, take it controlled. Up, we have reverse crunches. We're really going to hone in on your lower abdominals. Keep pressing into the band in three, two, one. If needed, support the pelvis with the hands. Press into the band. Exhale, drive it up. Control it for three, two, one. Exhale, lower abdominals. Drive the knees in towards the chest. The space in between your hip bones or the ASIS joint. I want you to feel it get tight tighter on every single rep. So imagine a corset in between the hip bones. Imagine it getting tighter towards the midline. Last three, two, and one. Recover, shake it out. We do that again. Now, if your band is heavy, you're going to feel this a lot in your hips. It is working your hips. It's a great hip flexor strengthening exercise as well. But you may just need to lower the resistance if it becomes too much. All right, let's do it again. This time is 45 seconds for the first exercise. The reverse crunches will be 30 seconds.
Reverse crunches in three, two, and one. Pressing into the band, a few more reps. Last three, two, and one. Slide your mini band below the knees. Shoulder blades will go to your bench. We have a hip thrust with the band below the knees. I'm having one 25 pound dumbbell on the lap. Find your end range motion first. Isolate the glutes, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Take it down, drive it up. Press into the band as you drive it up. Keep the space in between your ASIS joint or your hip bone and the bottom rib cage still. If you're starting to do a lot of that, a lot of movement in the lumbar spine, you will start to feel this in your back. So think about a hinge from the hips. Hinge it down, drive it up. A couple things I wanna point out. If you're feeling it more in the hamstrings, your feet may be too far away from the body, walk it in. If you're feeling it more in the quads, your feet may be too close to the body, walk it out. Just find that sweet spot, find what feels good for you. We're going to slide the band above the knees and then bring it back to the top in three, two, go down, slide the band up above the knees. Find the top of your hip thrust. Now we go out with the knees. Out, out and up, out and up. Last three, two, and one. Slide the band back below the knees. This is our find your glutes superset. So I really want you to make that mind must connection strong. All right, go to the top of your hip thrust. Squeeze the glutes, press into the band. Keep the tension. Have we found it? We need to find it before we move. All right, now we go down and up. Another thing that I wanna mention is the position of your shoulder blades on your bench or your chair. If you're too far away from it, your back is probably going to start to move. So just scoot on in. Again, it's all about the setup. Setup is crucial to kind of how we're feeling it. And sometimes all we need to do is make one little, little teeny tiny switch or change. And then that can make the world of a difference in how we feel the muscles contract. We'll slide the band above the knees in three, two, one, quickly, band above the knees. Go back to the top, squeeze your glutes, press into the band. Now we go up and out, squeeze, contract. Let the eyes soften and make that mind muscle connection. Squeeze, go out, out and up. Last three, two, and one. Release the dumbbell. Place the band off to the side. We will not need it again until the very end of the workout. Sumo squat is next. One dumbbell in each hand. Feet wide, heels in, toes out. We have a quarter rep. At the bottom. Pulse it down at the bottom, and then drive it up. This wide stance will really end the external rotation of the hip is really going to bias your adductors or your inner thighs. Quads are working, glutes are lit up, hamstrings are working a little bit here too. But right now we're biasing more the quads, the glutes, and the inner thighs. Our next exercise will be a hip hinge exercise where we will really hone in on those hamstrings. Next 
next up we have a wide stance RDL. I'm gonna give you a different view in three, two, one. A little wider than hip width, a slight external rotation of the hip. Take it down, hips go back. Once the hips stop moving, you stop moving, glutes drive you up. Three, two, one. Glutes and hamstrings drive you up. Three, two, one. Glutes and hamstrings are lengthened. Glutes contract you back up. Don't lead with the back. If your back moves, guess what? We will feel it in the back. So just bring awareness to it. Core stays tight. Spine stays as still as possible. Make the connection. Intent. Last three, two, wow, and one. Wow, when you can make that mind muscle connection, it burns, but it feels so good. Here we go, sumo squat, heels in, toes out. We go in three, two, and one. Continue with the quarter rep at the bottom. Wide stance RDLs in three, two, and one. Last three, two, wow, and one. All right, next up we will need our bench or our chair. We have a single leg RDL with rotation. Right hand has the dumbbell, left hand braces on your bench. Same movement pattern as we were just doing before, this time single leg. So we take it down, doesn't matter about this back foot, it's all in the standing leg. At the slight rotation, and I mean it is slight, just reaching towards that foot, shoo, driving it up. You're using this offhand to help stabilize so we can really bias the glutes. Now having the dumbbell in the contralateral hand is what we're doing right now. This will tend to help bias your glutes a little better. Now, if you were to have the dumbbell in the same hand as that standing leg, that is not wrong. You will just tend to bias your hamstring and recruit a little bit more of your core. So it's not right nor wrong, it's more about intent. So feel that stretch in the glute, bring it up. Little slight rotation without letting the spine go into flexion and extension. Core stays tight throughout. Next up, reverse lunge, same leg works. Let's go, continue to help brace. Send the hips back. So come a little forward, forward lean. The more hip flexion, the more glute recruitment and hamstring. The more knee flexion, the more quad recruitment. Again, all about what we want. And right now, long stride, slight forward lean, more hip flexion, more glutes. Try not to push off with that back leg. It's all in the front. Last three, two, and one. Wow, shake it out. I know we want to switch sides, but we're not. We continue to fatigue the same side. Here we go. Single leg RDL with rotation. We know what to do. So let's do it.
reverse lunge in three, two, wow, and one. 30 seconds. Last three, two, and one. Oh my goodness. Other side. We've got to match it. Left hand grabs the dumbbell. Right hand helps the stick flies. Again, slight rotation. Let's go. And it is slight. So I'm going to do a couple reps without supporting myself just so you can see how slight the rotation is. The moment when you showed up then I knew Oh my, here we go again Are you coming back to my life After all we said and done Are you coming back to my life I thought that you Reverse lunge in three, two, and one. Three, two, and wow, recover. <laughs> Round two is next, and then it's on to something new. Slow the breath down. Wow, mine was really getting away from me. Single leg RDL, good quality reps. Reverse lunge in three, two, wow, and one. Last three, two, and one. Shake it out, grab a drink if needed. Next up, ooh, we have Bulgarians. Left leg is the working leg. Right hand will have the dumbbell. I'm out of breath. We're still adding a quarter rep at the bottom. Hardest part of the movement. Drive up through the left. So dumbbells in the right hand, left foot is forward. Quad and glutes is driving you up. And let's remember to add that quarter wrap at the bottom because I just forgot and then drive it up. This one is so challenging. So you can use this offhand to help stabilize if needed, to help make that mind muscle connection more apparent. I have a Swiffer in the corner. Sometimes I will, when I'm by myself, I will use my Swiffer to help bring it back up. So that is always an option. Use something right here to help assist because this one can get quite fatiguing.
Next up, B stance RDLs. 80% of the weight in the left foot, 20% of the weight in the right. Kickstand in three, two, one. Hip hinge. We should have this down by now. Hinge from the hips. Drive it up. Hinge from the hips. Squeeze both glutes at the top. Squeeze both glutes to drive you up. You'll have to squeeze the glutes at the top, but I like having that tension in the glutes even as I go down. It's like I'm fighting the urge to let go of the glutes. Last three, two, and one. Whoa. We gotta do that again, man. Bulgarians. They're so they're so tough. But this is what will make us stronger. Doing things that we particularly don't really want to do. And we're gonna do it anyway. And we're gonna get better because of it. We're gonna get stronger because of it. So don't, even if you hate this exercise, love hate it. Hate love it. Let it make you better. This is how we're going to get better. Keep that mind positive. Tell yourself you can and you will. Come on, we have about 20 more seconds of this exercise. Then we drop it to our B stance RDL. In three, two, and one, switch at 80, 20, RDLs. B stance version. Last three, two, and wow, one. All right, we gotta do the other side. We've already done one side. We can't walk around lopsided. Let's match. Wow, right foot forward. Left hand has the dumbbell. Make sure your setup's okay. You may need to adjust the front foot. Quarter rep at the bottom. Stance RDL is next. 80% in the right foot, 20 in the left, and three, two. Hip hinge motion while can't talk. Hinge from the hips, drive it up. Glute is lengthened, glute contracts. Glute is lengthened, glute contracts. Hamstrings working too. Last three, two, and one. Wow, I'm sweating everywhere. Okay, where's my towel when I need it? Round two, round two. We got this, 45 of these Bulgarians. We're shaving 15 seconds off. Come on, we got this.
These dance RDLs in three, two, wow, and one, 80-20. Last three, two, and one. Dumbbell step ups are next. Dumbbell in each hand. Left foot will step on to your bench, your stool, or your chair first. Try not to use that back leg to push off. Really isolate the front leg. Control it down. Drive off through that left foot. Bring it down. Next up, we have body weight toe taps. We'll start at the top of our bench. Left leg remains the working leg. In three, two, and one. Dumbbells go down, come back up, hinge from the hips. This is our starting position, right foot dangles. Three, two, barely tap, drive it up. Three, two, barely tap, drive it up. So really focus on hinging that left hip back back, back, and then drive it up. Last three, two, and one. I just failed, but failing is a good thing. That means my muscles are working. All right, here we go. Dumbbell step ups. If needed, you can always drop it to one dumbbell. Continue working the left side, 45 seconds here. Body weight toe taps in three, two, dumbbells down, go to the top, left hip, back, back, barely tap, drive it up. Last three, two, and one. Other side is next. Ooh, okay, we got this. Right side. Both hands grab the dumbbell, match what you just did.
Next up, body weight toe taps. We start at the top, release the dumbbells in three, two, and one. Dumbbells down, wow. Back to the top, slight hinge forward, core stays tight, right hip goes back. Three, two, barely tap, drive it up. Three, two, barely tap, drive it up. If your chair is super high, that foot may not tap at all, and that's okay. Just think about sending hip back and then driving it up. Last three, two, and one. Okay, one more time. 45, 30, we gotta match it. Can't walk around lopsided. It's one hour and 30. I don't know what you're saying, Siri. Here we go, let's do it. taps in three, two, and one. Last three, two, and one. Band above the knees, around the quads. Dumbbell will go into the lap. <laughs> Find your wall. We have banded wall sits, abductions. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Get to about parallel and then start to go out. Next up, we have banded wall sit half raises. We'll do this without the dumbbell. I'm gonna shake it out real quick. All right. You don't have to, I need to. Wow. Now let's get right back down to it, right where we were. Heels go up, heels down. Heels up, heels down. Now press, press into the band as we do it. Wow. And one. Okay, one more time, one more time. Rest, pause if and when needed. Ditch the dumbbell if and when needed. We're fatigued, we're fatigued. We can do this as long as your form does not start to slip and other muscle groups that we don't want kicking in like low back and other stuff. Let's keep on keeping on. Form stays locked in. Concentrate, y'all. Everybody, 
Come on, tell yourself you can. 15 seconds here, then we release the dumbbell. Final tip. Ah. Release the dumbbell in three, two, and one. Shake it out real quick. A little shake. Right back down to it. Okay. Calf raises. Let's go. Don't hate me, we hold those heels up. In three, two, one, heels up, 15 seconds, just hold. Heels one inch higher. Press into the band a little bit more. Here's our last, five, four, three, two, heels down, we are done. Let's get rid of this torture device known as our mini band. I can't even get myself to remove it. We need to stretch. We need to stretch and lengthen those muscles back out. All right. I'm all dirty, I need to go shower now. That's okay. All right, enough of me talking. If you can grab your heel, whatever you can find. Start to pull it in. Small pulses, three, two, one, and hold. And let's turn towards our bench, same side. Goes on to your bench. <laughs> and hinge from the hips. Hamstring stretch. Now we'll take that same foot, cross it over, hinge, figure four. So with this figure four, I need something to balance. Definitely have something to balance. But think about driving that knee down as you sit back. That's gonna open up your hip. Let's do the other side. Now, if you want more stretching after this video, I highly, highly recommend the 15 minute hip stretch video. It is amazing. It's quick, it's to the point. I love it. Start to pull it in, pulse it. Now hold. And foot on your bench, B-E-N-C-H. Hinge from the hips, hamstring stretch, down to the calves. And figure four. We're going to end with some internal hip rotations because they feel so good. And we always really focus on the external rotation when stretching, or a lot of us do, most of us do. And then we forget about the internal rotation. Is it side, what side you do first? Back leg rotated in, opposing hand up and over. And just start to pulse it. And hold, just the pose, not the breath. And let's take it to the other side. Ooh, feels so good. One side may be tighter than the other. This is my tight side, my left side. Rotate in, up and over, start to pulse. And hold the pose, not the breath. Rotate a little bit more, reach a little bit more. And one more stretch, because I like to end with the bilateral. <laughs> so let's come into frog, widen it, start to press it, pulse it back towards your glutes, towards the heels. Once you find a stretch that feels like a stretch, nothing more, just hold. You can come down, rest your head. You may have better mobility in the hips than I do, so you may be able to go a little bit farther. Everyone is different. One more big deep inhale to come out of it, press forward, Knee in one inch at a time. And now easy seat, whatever that looks like for you. We are done, my friends. As long as you tried your best, that is what matters most. A lot of these unilateral variations. Um, now on the single leg RDL and reverse lunge, we were supporting ourselves. I love it. I love it. I love it. We can really hone in on that mind muscle connection and not worry about all the stabilizing that we have to do. But you can do that as well. Again, 
It's not one isn't superior to the other. It's all about what do you want out of this exercise? Bulgarians, they never get easier. Use something in front to help stabilize. I just didn't have it handy, but you can definitely do that in the future. Something to keep in mind um, with any sort of unilateral exercise. If you have one dumbbell in the hand, what's that offhand doing? It can help you out. Help it out. Help you out. Help yourself out. Enough of me talking. I talked a lot today. I talked a lot today. So thank you for bearing with me through that. And thank you so much for working out with me today. Your love and support means the absolute world to me. So I cannot thank you enough. My channel grows because of you. So continue to like, comment, subscribe, help the algorithm or whatever, you know, help the search results go up because people find my channel because of you. So share it with a friend that might enjoy this. Share it <laughs> or share it with a, fr a friend of me that you're like those Bulgarians. Yeah, have fun with that, buddy. Um, anyway, thank you so much for working out with me today. As long as you tried your best, that is what matters most. Tag me in your posts and stories at Laurie Midkiff. And then most importantly, y'all, as always, have an amazing rest of the day. You rock.